Hello, everyone, and welcome to this midweek message here on September 18th. Uh, I'm Pastor Aaron Holmgren at Salem Lutheran Church, and uh, we have a lot of things that are happening right now. We have our choirs rehearsing tonight. We also have faith formation. The kickoff was last week, but um, tonight we start the curriculum on the fruits of the Spirit, starting with the fruit of love. And so... Um, if you have kids that are signed up for that, make sure that you come to that for the 5.30 dinner and the 6 o'clock uh, worship time and lesson. So that's um, tonight at St. Stephen's, and then the choirs are rehearsing, um, the bell choirs are rehearsing, and chancel choir here at Salem throughout the evening. Learner bells, 7.15. Um, the Next Sunday is our second week of the Generosity Project, uh, session two. Uh, we had a great kickoff to this um, six-week uh, time together last Sunday. And um, if you didn't get your Live It Out um, activity sheet for things to do at home throughout the week as we do this Generosity Project for the next six weeks, I have extra copies. Just let me know. I can get that to you. Um, we are uh, doing this with the intention of learning more about this generous God of ours and how we uh, who are made in God's image can reflect that generosity in all that we do as households and individuals and as a congregation. So it's part of our stewardship campaign, but it's also a lot larger than that. And so um, also wanted to lift up the scholarship drive that we are doing throughout September as uh, we support uh, students in their education um, with our global partners in Guatemala and uh, Tanzania. So um, that's all happening this Sunday. We also, right after worship, will have just a brief informal discussion, no official votes are being made, um, on where we're at with the solar project. Uh, we're, we're kind of at an impasse where if we want to move forward, we need to know if we can move forward. And that involves um, getting a structural engineer out here to look at the roof to see if we can support the weight. Um, but to get that contract with the engineer, that would require a congregational vote. So um, before we get into the, the, um, the process of calling a special meeting for a vote, we're just doing an informal conversation. Is this what we want to do moving forward? Um, is it um, something we want to explore more? So that's uh, a brief conversation we're going to have following worship this Sunday before we head downstairs for the Generosity Project. Um, let's see, Monday the 23rd, we have Beer, Burgers, and Hymns at Gallagher's, and so um, the theme, we're going to do kind of more of a uh, Oktoberfest, more of the, the classics, the Reformation-type hymns, so it uh, should be a great time um, over there on Monday the 23rd. We also have some stuff coming up early in October. I know that we have um, the we have a new jazz concert on the calendar for the 12th in the afternoon at 2. And then if you're still in the mood for music, we have our campfire sing-along that evening starting at 6. So um, October 12th, just block out your whole day for that because that's going to be a day of fun and fellowship and amazing music, specifically the jazz concert. I mean, we'll make a joyful noise, but it might be more of a noise on the lawn. So that's October 12th. Now, um, other things are coming up fast. I would encourage you, as always, to check the announcements, to read um, what is on the docket and um, that comes with this email. If you're catching this just on YouTube, you can check out our website and go to Connect and Weekly Announcements and find all that is going on. Or you can go to the calendar and see uh, all the activities that are happening um, here at Salem. So that's my uh, an announcements for this uh, week and for the month ahead. 
And um, for reflection, I'm going to use this so that we're, we're carrying this conversation into our week. The Live It Out uh, Generosity Project has, for week one, a conversation at home as um, our household identity and story. So this is something to be um, discussing with uh, your your household, that those people who, who make up your, your daily lives um, and who live with you, who share your space together. Um, and so the question that we are to be pondering this week is, uh, do your family members know how much you share and give of your uh, financial wealth? And we can we can extend that to of your time and your talents. If you are volunteering at different shel uh, like food shelves or other organizations, do your other family members know that you're doing that? Is specifically kids or grandkids? Have you talked to them about these decisions and why you make these decisions? Um, and so having these discussions help um, kind of pass on for each genera generation the sense of generosity. As we reflect God's generosity, uh, we are called to reflect that generosity with those around us so they can reflect on that. So one of the cool activities they have here is... Um, these are the names or drawings of all the people and places that have been recipients of our generosity. So you could look at like maybe from um, January 2024 to now and kind of list like where have we given our time, talents, and treasures this year? Um, maybe the scholarship drives on here. Maybe Salem's on here or Neighbors Inc. or Loaves and Fishes. All of those things in, uh, are encompassed within our sense of, of generosity and community together. So where are you um, reflecting God's generosity? And upon reflecting on that, how can we give thanks for all that God has given us? The grace that um, we share each and every day. So that's my reflection for you as we continue our um, this, this ministry of love that we get to share each and every day. So um, blessings on your day.